if Bill Heaton won the 2019 Olympia lineup, would Brandon Curry still be Mr. Olympia today? Of course I would. I probably would have won. Hey guys, even here, and how about we, well, try to squash this beef that Phil Heath and Brandon Curry have. It's not really much of a beef, but let's really try to analyze their physiques and to compare Phil Heath's 2018 version against Brandon Curry's 2019 Mr. Olympia version. Would Phil Heath have looked any better if he competed in 2019? Would his stomach look uh, better now after having some time to recover from the hernia surgery? Potentially, maybe, but we don't know. You're only as good as your last show and that's the only photos that we can have and uh, compare Brandon against. Maybe Brandon looked better at the Arnold Classic 2019, but uh, we're gonna compare Mr. Olympia versions of themselves and uh, now let's begin. Obviously, back in 2018, uh, Phil Heath absolutely squashed Brandon Curry. It wasn't even funny, but uh, that wasn't Brandon Curry of today. Brandon Curry absolutely transformed his body. Just look at this metamorphosis. It's not even photoshopped. His arms are not even photoshopped right here. It's from the official Muscular Development website. So, it's amazing. It's amazing how much he progressed and he became a new bodybuilder. A new Mr. Olympia and uh, a bodybuilder that's gonna be very hard to beat actually on the stage. With this lineup that we have today, with a bunch of not very complete guys, He's gonna be in the top and uh, probably on the very top of the game. For how long will he ever be beaten? It's left to see. Hopefully next year we're gonna see Phil hit against him and uh, that's gonna be interesting. Also, a disclaimer before anybody says that Phil Heath is a better bodybuilder but his stomach is what makes him lose. Did he lose 2018 Mr. Olympia uh, because of the bubble gut only? I don't think so. I think Sean was overall better bodybuilder. Sure, you can make an argument that Sean didn't have as good of arms, back, and so on, chest, and a bunch of uh, body parts, but overall, overall, who was better bodybuilder? Sean was. Sean was. He had the better conditioning, he had the normal stomach, and he had the body parts. He wasn't really lacking anything. Yeah, Phil was pretty much better in every single one of them. Maybe not the glutes, maybe not the quads, but the flow and the conditioning and overall completeness of the physique was on Sean's side. So I think Sean was a better bodybuilder than Phil hit that night. And I think Sean was a better bodybuilder that night than Brandon Curry was in 2019. I think Sean is a better Mr. Olympia. But what about Phil Heath? His 2018 version would it beat Brandon Curry as he claims? Or would Brandon Curry actually end up victorious as he claims? Well, what are we waiting for? Let's find out. Let's start with the front double bicep. Before we begin, I gotta tell you that I'm gonna try to be as brief as possible. And I also must admit that I didn't really set my mind yet. I need to watch these photos and to analyze them live right now and uh, tell you what I think as I go along. So let's go. Front double bicep. Let's be quick about this. Bigger arms, Brandon. More conditioned arms, Phil hit. Overall conditioning, Phil hit by far. Legs, Phil. Flow, I would say Brandon. Bigger lats, Brandon. Smaller waist, Brandon. And a proper midsection, Brandon. So who would you go with? If Phil's stomach was as Brandon's, I would go with Phil any day of the week because of the conditioning and because of the legs. But because of the midsection, I'm having a hard time deciding but I think I would still go with Phil. Even with this kind of stomach, I would still give him victory in this pose. He doesn't have the flow, he doesn't even have the size in the upper body, but he has a complete physique, he has the legs, and he has 10 times better conditioning. So in my book, conditioning is a must, and a complete physique is also very necessary. Brandon doesn't have great legs, Phil he does, does have them. Phil's conditioning is very good, spot on right here. Brandon's conditioning is not that great, it's a little bit watery. So, even though he has a better flow, more dominant and a much better flowing upper body, I would still go with Phil. What do you guys think? Alright, now we come to the front lat spread. Now, if you take a look at their upper bodies, the flow is definitely on Brandon's side. Um, Phil's chest actually is obvious that the right one is torn a long time ago, but uh, you can see it right now. The stomach is uh, pretty problematic, but not as much in this pose. His chest is very tight, his shoulders are narrow, so as far as upper body goes, 
Brandon is destroying him, but it's not matching. There is no proportions. Brandon's legs are way too small for his upper body. Just compare their legs. You can see right here why am I saying that his legs are so small. They're obviously much smaller when you compare them to somebody as complete as Phil. And then you can also see the condition. Look at that grainy, grainy, tight, tight and uh, thin skin that Phil has on his legs. It's really much different. And once again, because of the conditioning and because of the completeness, I will give victory to Phil, even though his physique doesn't flow as well as Brandon's. That's just my take. Relax, guys. Relax, Brandon Curry fans. We have six more poses to go over. He may end up victorious in this, my, in this comparison of mine, but I'm not sure yet. I didn't really make up my mind. So here we have side chest. And uh, here you can see that it's very close. It's actually very good. You cannot really see the lack of size of the legs on Brandon, but you can also see that Phil is somewhat hiding his midsection. It's not that obvious in this pose. You can see it if you really try to, to, to look, but if you, if you didn't know that he had that problem, you wouldn't even notice, let's be real. But what you can notice here is, again, conditioning. Phil has much better conditioning. The upper chest right there, the shoulders, the glutes, the legs, not really so much in this pose, but overall you can definitely notice that Phil is uh, conditioned, just very well conditioned. Not as well as he was a couple of years ago, but still better conditioning than that of Brandon Curry. Brandon probably has a better flow in this pose, but you cannot see Phil's stomach and his arms are looking thicker and the chest is thicker and his legs are bigger and the conditioning is better, so I would go with Phil inside chest, yep. Alright, so we come to the side tricep pose. And uh, here you can see Phil's, Phil's stomach or, or a gut or just a mess of a midsection, but it's not that horrible, in this pose at least, not really that much. You can notice that these guys are very close here, and uh, the way they pose, I would say that Brandon has bigger legs actually in this pose, but that's just the, the problem with the, with the posing or the angle, more likely. And you can see that the glutes of Phil are more conditioned, but overall flow of Brandon's physique is uh, better, so I would give this one to Brandon, actually. I give this pose to Brandon, it just, there is no reason to give it to Phil, because the conditioning looks pretty much the same, the only difference that, that I can see actually is the flow and the stomach, basically the small waist, that actually sets the flow. So I give the first uh, pose right now to, to Brandon Curry. If I didn't do this, somebody would be there in the comment section saying something like, you only give victory to Phil because he's whiter. <laughs> Just kidding, nobody would say that. But uh, obviously, uh, a well-deserved victory in this pose for Brandon Curry. Let's go with the next one. All right, so here we have this variation of most muscular. They didn't really do the same poses, the same variations this year. At least I couldn't find them. But I found this hands clasped for Phil and one hand on the hip for Brandon. It's very similar pose. And here you can notice that they are also both very good at this pose, very arm dominant. But what I noticed, uh, pretty much the first thing when I started looking at their flaws, is the legs. The leg size difference. A huge difference. Huge, huge difference. Phil's legs are just much bigger. And they fit his upper body. Brandon Curry's upper body is just over dominant for those tiny legs. Those legs are actually big, but for his upper body, they look small. And as far as just upper body, I would say that Phil is more conditioned through the chest, through the shoulders and arms and everything. His stomach is uh, obviously, even here, not that great, but it's not really that big of a problem. This is not abs and thighs. So this pose, I give it to Phil because he's whiter, <laughs> because he deserves it, because he's better definitely in this pose. I would say so. We have another variation of, of most muscular here. It's the, the, the crab pose. And here, I don't think I got the ratio, right? <laughs> Brandon seems much bigger than Phil. He's not really that big. But uh, again, uh, same thing. I mean, Phil, he is very good in these poses. He can hide his stomach, so there is no problem of that sort. He has amazing arm development, forearm development. His chest even pops in this pose. And uh, on top of it all, he has matching legs. So once again, Pretty much nobody can beat Phil in the most muscular. I don't know anybody who does better most muscular, basically. So, I'll give this one to Phil again. But I've gotta say, Brandon came up so much 
from last year, from 2018 to 2019, it was basically a metamorphosis. I mean, look at him here. He is so close to Phil, actually. Year before, he wasn't even close. Now, he's much better bodybuilder, so props for that. But Phil is arguably the best in the history of the world. In my book, after Ronnie Coleman. So, for you to be better than Phil, you need to be really good. You need to be really, really good. So, maybe next year, maybe in a couple of years, Brandon Curry is actually improving very, very fast. We'll see what happens in a couple of years, but as for now, 2018 version of Phil Heath, at least in these poses, looks better than those of Brandon. Just like Phil can't lose in the most muscular poses, that's uh, the same way he cannot win in the abs and thighs poses. Nobody, <laughs> nobody is worse than him in this. This is just horrible. Now again, you could make an argument that Phil deserves to win this one because of the legs, because Brandon's legs are just, you know, too small, too small for his upper body. It really, it really throws away his balance, at least for me, for my eyes, for my taste for aesthetics in bodybuilding. But still, I mean, this midsection is just a mess. And the flow, the lats, the small waist and everything, it just goes in Brandon's favor. So I give this post to Brandon, of course. All right, the shows are won from behind, they say. Not in 2018, but uh, here you can see them. Brandon versus Phil from the back. The width is definitely on Brandon's side. I mean, that's just obvious. That's probably the one thing that I don't like about the Phil Heath's physique. Aside from bubble gut, but if you're talking about 2011 version of Phil Heath, the only thing that I didn't really like is the width of his back. And that's probably the only reason why Ronnie is a better bodybuilder, because he's just bigger, wider, and also more muscular everywhere, basically. But uh, here you can see Brandon on the, on the right side and uh, the conditioning. The conditioning is different. Phil is definitely more conditioned, but uh, Brandon is thicker from the back, actually, and wider. So, as far as upper body is very close, but I would go with Brandon because of the size, not because of the conditioning, but uh, downstairs, because of the size of the legs, because of the conditioning of those hamstrings and glutes, but hamstrings most of all, Phil, Phil wins this pose because of that. He seals it with the hamstrings. Look at those hamstrings. Arguably the best hamstrings of all time, the most conditioned ones. So, this pose won by Phil again. And I know, I know you saw it coming. Back double bicep. The last pose. And the one that's gonna help Phil seal the deal. Huh, that rhymes. So, here you can see them hitting the back double bicep. Uh, not that bad. Brandon Curry, I mean. Not as conditioned. Not as detailed. Through the upper body, of course. Lower body, just a different story. You cannot ignore the hamstrings or the lack of them on Brandon Curry's side and the lack of definition and the size of the oral legs and the conditioning in the upper body, I mean in the back itself. So this one, one by Phil hit. Guys, I had no idea this is gonna be the result. I just went with the flow. I don't write any scripts because I'm too lazy. I just play the video and I talk whatever I see. So this is what I saw. If you disagree with me, tell me down below. If you agree with me, also tell me down below. Whatever is in your mind, tell me in the comment section. Like the video if you enjoyed it and please subscribe for more bodybuilding videos like this. All the best guys and bye bye.